All right, so you can see this here has the four pieces put together. Each one was routed off a pattern. Right, that's that pattern we used. Um, you can see these marks, right? See how that lines up? Doesn't matter where you put them, those are just for indexing. You know, you don't, when this was assembled, it was not assembled like this, it was assembled upside down. Remember, this is our gluing surface, okay? This is perfect. Or it needs to be perfect. So when you assemble it, sure, you can put all four together and kind of hold them. Take your clamps, okay, get the lines kind of lined up. And just put a little pressure so it'll just kind of hold them and gently flip it, okay? When you clamp this side down, you want to push down and tighten it up. You want to push down here, tighten it up. Because as you can see, and I don't know if you can see it in the camera, you see how the, the bottoms weren't quite straight? Well, if you were to assemble it upside down, this would look all ragged, right? So I lined up the marks, I clamped it tight upside down, and then I just took a hammer, and you're going to want to go and you're going to tap each one in. You're going to just take your time. If it takes you all day, who cares? Once this thing is accurate, you, I mean, you're good for life. That baby is solid, okay? And again, my pen marks, are, that's on the money. This will be an absolutely perfect mold. Now, we're not quite done because it's one thing to take each piece, right, and raise them up and down to get them to match. It's another to make sure it's square. You know, one thing we don't want to do is build a spring jig that has built-in twist, right? So we know, I don't know if you can see that in the camera, right? We know that this is square. That's one thing, right? But we also want to throw a square here. And we do not even want to see a sliver of light. Nothing. I mean, this thing has to be on the money. Otherwise, it'll be kind of like slanted, and that's real easy to do. Once you know it's good, tighten up the clamps. And I, it's probably impossible to see it on a camera, but I mean, it's perfect. There is no light. I mean, it, it's, it's perfect. So, so there you go. This will be the bottom piece of the mold. Now the top piece is gonna go on top. There's gonna be a space through here. And in that other video, I had those steel brackets going up. That's gonna go in there. Now, once this was clamped, I just took some of these trim nails, okay, and I just started pounding a few in. That's really holding it together, but now I'm going to go through with some drywall screws from both sides and really make it secure. This is going to have serious pressure on it, so um, you want to make sure they're solid. And there you can see, right by looking at this, do you need individual sheets of plywood? No, you can use a micro lamb, right? If you go to a lumber yard and just ask if they have any cutoffs, you can build this out of one micro lamb. It's all glued together for you. And just put it on a sander, sand your contour, and you're done. Or you can use a 2x6, right? Um, I happen to have plywood laying around, so that's what I use. Um, but this is our bottom surface. Now, we're going to do the same thing and make a top. The top piece does not have to be as perfect as this. Okay, you'll find out why. But, uh, yeah, hey, this is going to be a cool, cool uh, spring. This is going to be nice. So, see you on the next one.